Hello, everyone, and welcome to the lesson today. We will be discussing parallelism and perpendicularity. In this lesson, you will learn to a. illustrate parallel and perpendicular lines, b. demonstrate knowledge and skills involving angles formed by parallel lines and transversals, c. determine and prove the conditions under which Lines and segments are parallel and perpendicular. D. Determine the conditions that make a quadrilateral a parallelogram and prove that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. E. Use properties to find measure of angles, sides, and other quantities involving parallelograms. Identifying angles. A transversal is a line that intersects two coplanar lines at two distinct points. Alternate interior angles are between the two intersecting lines on opposite sides of a transversal. Same side interior angles are between the two intersected lines on the same side of the transversal. Corresponding angles are in similar positions on the same side of the transversal. Parallelism Two lines are parallel if and only if they are complanar and they do not intersect. A line that intersects two or more lines at different points is called a transversal. If two lines are cut by a transversal, then the two lines are parallel if a Corresponding angles are congruent. B. Alternate interior angles are congruent. C. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. D. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. E. Exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Perpendicularity. Two lines that intersect to form right angles are said to be perpendicular. This is not limited to lines only. Segments and rays can also be perpendicular. A perpendicular bisector of a segment is a line or a ray or another segment that is perpendicular to the segment and intersects the segment at its midpoint. The distance between two parallel lines is the perpendicular distance between one of the lines and any point on the other line. Note that the small rectangle drawn in the corner indicates a right angle, whereas the inverted T symbol used to indicate perpendicularity of lines in XZ perpendicular to PY. To prove that two lines are perpendicular, you must show that one of the following theorems is true. 1. Two lines are perpendicular to each other, then they form four right angles. If line M is perpendicular to line N, then we can conclude that angles 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4 are right angles. 2. If the angles in a linear pair are congruent, then the line containing their sides are perpendicular. If angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair and angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then line 1 is perpendicular to line 2. If two angles are adjacent and complementary, the non-common sides are perpendicular. If angle CAR is complementary to RAE, then AC and AE are perpendicular. Kinds of quadrilateral A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. The symbol rectangle is used in this module to indicate a quadrilateral. For example, rectangle ABCD is read as Quadrilateral ABCD. Quadrilaterals are classified as follows. A trapezium. A quadrilateral with no pair of parallel sides. Trapezoid. 
a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. If the non-parallel sides are congruent, the trapezoid is said to be isosceles. Parallelogram A quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel and congruent sides. There are two special kinds of parallelogram, the rectangle which has four right angles and the rhombus which has four congruent sides. A square which has four congruent angles and four congruent sides can be a rectangle or a rhombus because it satisfies the definition for a rectangle and a rhombus. Here's a practice activity called special quadrilateral. Study the blank diagrams below and then write the appropriate quadrilateral in the box after which complete the table. For the table, place a check mark in the boxes below if the quadrilateral listed along the top row has the properties listed in the left column. Here we will be discussing and writing proofs. A proof is a logical argument in which each statement you make is supported or justified by given information, definitions, axioms, postulates, theorems, and previously proven statements. Proofs can be written in three different ways. 1. The paragraph form or informal proof. The paragraph form is the type of proof where you write a paragraph to explain why a conjecture for a given situation is true. Given that angle LOE and angle EOV are complementary, prove that LO is perpendicular to OV. Since angle LOE and angle EOV are complementary, then the measurement of angle LOE plus the measurement of angle EOV is equal to 90 degrees by definition of a complementary angle. Thus, the measurement of LOE plus the measurement of EOV is equal to the measurement of angle LOV by angle addition postulate and since measurement of angle LOV is equal to 90 by transitive property of equality so angle LOV is a right angle by definition of right angles therefore LO is perpendicular to OV by definition of perpendicularity. The second form is known as the two-column or the formal proof. It is a proof with statements and reasons. The first column is for the statements and the other column is for the reasons. Using the same problem in number one, the proof is as follows. Number one, angle LOE and angle EOV are complementary. The reason given. Number two. The measurement of angle LOE plus measurement of angle EOV is equal to 90 degrees due to the definition of complementary angles. Number three. Measurement of LOE plus measurement of EOV is equal to the measurement of angle LOV due to the angle addition postulate or AAP. Number four, the measurement of angle LOV is equal to 90 degrees due to the transitive property of equality or the TPE. Number five, angle LOV is a right angle. Five, definition of a right angle. Number six, LO is perpendicular to OV because of the definition of perpendicularity. The third form is known as the flowchart form. It is a proof in which it organizes a series of statements in a logical order, starting with the given statements. Each statement together with its justification is written in a box and arrows are used to show how each statement leads to another. It can make one's logic visible and helps others follow the reasoning. The flowchart proof 
of the problem in number one can be done this way. Number one, since angle LOE and angle EOV are complementary, this is due to the given. Then, the measurement of angle LOE plus the measurement of angle EOV is equal to 90 due to the definition of complementary angles. Next, the measurement of angle LOE plus the measurement of angle EOV is equal to the angle LOV since due to the AAP postulate. Next, the measure of LOV is 90 degrees due to the transitive property of equality. Then, the angle LOV is a right angle due to the definition of a right angle. Finally, segment LO is perpendicular to segment OV due to the definition of perpendicularity. Here's a review activity. You were tasked to answer the first column during the earlier part of this module. Now, see how well you understood the lessons presented. Write A if you agree with the statement and write D if you disagree. You can answer well the video is rolling. Number 1. Lines that do not intersect are parallel lines. Number 2. Skew lines are coplanar. Number 3. Transversal lines are lines that intersect two or more lines. 4. Perpendicular lines are intersecting lines. 5. If two lines are parallel to a third line, then the two lines are parallel. If two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then the two lines are parallel. 7. If one side of a quadrilateral is congruent to its opposite side, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. 8. Diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. 9. Diagonals of parallelograms are congruent. 10. Diagonals of parallelograms are perpendicular. 11. Opposite sides of parallelograms are parallel. 12. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. 13. Consecutive angles of a parallelogram are congruent. 14. Squares are rectangles. 15. Squares are rhombi.